Now, Betty Bayo, she is a Kikuyu gospel singer. She does beautiful music. She's really talented. I remember growing up listening to a Betty Bayo song. She would take you to heaven and back, you know. She really, really had us on a chokehold. Fast forward, she gets married to Pastor Kanyai, who is a very controversial pastor. Yeah, he had the 310 movement where you would send 310 shillings in order to be pro provided with a miracle. Mm. Which is, you know, why are we in the business of selling God and selling miracles and everything? He was exposed, it was a whole scandal, and he continued to preach in his own controversial way. Anyway, they broke up, but before that, they had two children together. And were like, okay, Betty, we're rooting for you, do the best you can. And for a hot minute there, it, it, it seemed a, a bit bleak for her, you know, because she's facing backlash from all of this. Even if it was your husband who was doing all of these terrible, horrible things and scamming people, you too profited from all of this because you were his wife. You you never exposed him. It is other people who exposed this man. Anyway, it was a bit of a bleak period for her over there. And then she got together with her fiancé. Um, at the time he was a fiance she introduced him soft launched him and we're like oh this is this is what you went with anyway mm. who am i to judge as long as he makes you happy <laughs> anyway her fiance later on became her husband they got married in 2021 we were happy for them however it seems a few netizens have a few things to say about the union and somebody actually went to her comment section and started talking about <coughs> how uh, the man has started the match at 2-0, meaning he is getting married to a woman with two children. And in the long, long, wow, long, long run, run. <laughs> it is not sustainable for him to be in a marriage where he ha does not have children or did not come, come with children. It was just somebody trying to mock Betty Bayo, somebody trying to bring her down because it's none of your business. This man is not complaining. Betty Bayo is happy. The children are happy. Everyone is thriving. But somebody took it upon themselves to point out the fact that she got married with two children from a previous marriage. And as you know, as insulting and as humiliating uh, that statement was, Betty Bayo was very quick to, to, to answer and said, no match starts to zeros. Uh, Simwambia huyu, sisi ndio tuko. Ata zingine zinanza 10-0, mechi huanza bado. And she goes on to sing um, a song, uh, sisi ndio tuko, by Rington, yeah? Mm. Sisi ndio tuko. People with babies, people, baby mamas, we are the hottest thing in the market. And she even went on to say, um, uh, the comment sections were actually saying, uh, kin Mama, wa watoto wa wili ndo tunatesa siku hizi. Somebody else saying, yangu ilianza tu tu. Yani, ya ya likuja na wawili, kuwe kakuja na wawili. Ten years later, bado tunaendelea. Somebody else said, mama yangu alianza 4-0. Tangu 2004, naweza kusema uh, kwamba nimekuwa na baba mzuri zaidi, napenda sana hivi kwamba tusha kuwa watu wazima. It is none of your business, you know, especially where children are involved. If you want to bully somebody, bully them, but don't bring in their children. They are innocent of all of this. They did not choose fame. It is Betty Bayo who is famous, not her children. <coughs> so if you have beef with somebody... Go for them. Insult them. If it's burning you like that, tell them. You know, DM them. Create a pseudo account. But just don't bring in the children. It, it really does not make sense. Okay, first of all, I think it's gotten so bad that people are trolled and we're like, please don't troll their children. Troll them. Mm. In general, we really shouldn't be don't trolling anyone. Don't anybody. Like, don't be doing that. That's wilding. Why are you wilding on someone's DMs telling them the way? And the comment section as well. It is not a place where you come to give your opinions, sir. This is not... Listen, mm -hmm. it's not a QA. and a Nobody cares about your opinion. Nobody cares about my hair and my receding hairline. It's just you, so leave me alone. And by the way, all those people who usually have all those nasty comments, why are your accounts private? Put them public. Mm -hmm. Let us see what you look like, Mr. Mm -hmm. Sir, over there, hitting, saying, oh, I get so mad. I get Pseudo so accounts. mad. Pseudo accounts, accounts with like yeah. six posts and private. And you're there with your big chest. If your big chest is giving you the ability and the energy to come and comment on my comment section, nasty things, open up your big chest by showing us the courage that you have by opening up your own account. Let us see you. What do you look like? You, what is your life looking like? Now that mine is bothering you so much. By the way, Mr. Rikasan, a little some some stupid idiot came to the comment section. Ah, but that was so much. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to say is there seems to be a problem with people 
in general with women with children. We've seen a lot of controversial stories. In fact, even last week, was it last week or two weeks ago, mm -hmm. with the Kalabash family, right? Yeah. He, the first thing he did once he officially started talking smack about his ex-wife was... She came with two children. Mm. It's hard to raise someone else's children. And I'm and just like, together. but weren't no, you? No, she came with one, one child. One child. Two together. Yes, yeah, so they had two children together, but he came. He, she came with one child, and he said it's very difficult to raise someone else's children, right? But I'm like, but you guys were together for so long. Did that realization not dawn on you until now? You know, we've seen even um, in the situation of uh, Kate Actress, she also had one child out of wedlock. And now there's a trending video of her talking about how, you know, She's very appreciative of men who take up the the woman with the child, the single woman with the child. And I'm just like, is it a plague? Is it an extra leg? Is it an extra nipple? Why are people making it look like having children is a problem? Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is it that it is a receding hairline so bad that, Yanni, you are... Kai, th thank God you have come my way. Because me, I don't know. Nikama Kilema. You people, people with children are not in any way shape or form less than right they just have lived a life mm -hmm. and everybody who has lived a life has has something to show for it, it